Yeah, you mentioned uh, that somewhere around 70% of those luxury uh, homeowners have thought about selling or, you know, they've, they've been talking about it, but they haven't listed it. What's, um, what's some of your favorite ways to find those possibly motivated sellers that are owners of luxury homes? Uh, well, I think the, the, the recognition is what has helped me. And I say that humbly, but I, I just, we put out a really good product and typically the hungry luxury agents, there's the same 10 are bringing that, those clients into these house, right? Well, only one of them gets it. And you're going to see those same agents shuffling around. So I just made sure I have good relationships with all them. And they send me a deal. I give them their commission on it. So they might make 30 grand on, on the purchase of acquisition. And then I'll say, you know, well, hey, you can list it too. Uh, and now they're going to make, now it's over a million dollar. Let's say that's like a, you know, eight, $900,000 uh, deal. And then I listed at 1.5, 1.6, somewhere around there. And they're making some good money. So they get their 3% on the buy side. And then when I go to sell, um, I do it for a percent and a half. I won't, I usually won't let them list unless it's a percent and a half, but they, and then they get that percent and a half. So they stand to make a lot of money on me. And they, they also know that I put out a good product that buyers are going to circle to. So talking, networking with people, letting them know that you're there, putting out quality and, and respect uh, on your company and your name. You know, I treat people really fair. I don't beat people up. It's either the deal uh, for us or it's not the deal for us. Um, and I'll decide based on the room. The other one that I think uh, I mentioned this on um, a podcast the other day. The other one that I think a lot of people don't use is the photographers. So if you're missing out on the photographers that are going and taking these pictures of the houses that are going to go on the MLS and you don't have referral fees into them saying, Hey, if you send me a house before it goes to the market or off market property, I'll give you a thousand bucks or 15,000 or 1500 bucks. You're missing out. Cause those guys go to every single house that's listed. Right. So you find the big brokers, you, fi you find out who their, uh, their uh, camera guys are, the companies that are snapping the pics, and then you offer referrals because once again, you're in that same situation. Like, yes, they want to list, but cash is king. So if they can avoid all that stuff and avoid the other 3% that's to be had from the buyer's side and save some money off their net, they're going to go with your cash offer and then you don't have to deal with the competition. So we like that one. Uh, we use that quite a bit. 